Hi, this is Wanda from Little Rose Artworks, and we're getting Zen up in here. Okay, we're not really, because anybody that knows me knows I'm not very calm and not very Zen, but we did do this. So, take a hint from Buddha. Let's get a little Zen. This is a 20 by 20 piece of plywood, and we're just gonna get started. First part of this, I'm using a primer on the board. Sand your edges of your board and prime it. I'm drawing out my image in chalk. It'll give me something to put my glue lines on. Got to get that hair looking right. I am using some glass beads or those you know, glass things to make up my hair. Initially, I'm putting them down with hot glue, and then I'm gonna trace over those chalk lines with my hot glue, making my borders deep enough to hold my resin. Right now I'm having a ton of trouble with my camera. I keep shutting off. So, again, I stenciled with an acrylic. I am now using glue, and then I'm going to put on a very fine glitter. I'm hoping it works. Now my very fine glitter. Gonna let that set for a little while. Make sure I have good coverage. Let that set for a little while. Blow it off. Come back and do this one. I only have the one stencil. This is my Buddha. Then I'm gonna resin in here. I am debating whether I'm going to do just a plain gold over here. I have no idea yet. Let's we'll see what happens. See if this pulls off okay. I don't know. I'm a little worried. Oh yeah, that worked. Gotta go wash the heck out of that. That worked alright. Oh, I like it. Very sparkly. I did have one of my glob uh, one of my things fall off, but that's okay. Fix it. So now the whole thing will be trying to get all this glitter out of here because you know. Glitter is the herpes of arts and crafts. It's everywhere. And it never goes away. And it keeps coming back. I want this portion here, the outside, not the actual Buddha itself, to be more subtle, washed out, kind of a mix of things. So I don't want to have straight out colored resin going out here. This is going to be more of a solid resin so I want this kind of to be faded in the background so then I thought well what should I do should I use acrylic paints or whatever I don't think so so even though mica po uh, pigment powders are expensive I am going to brush some on as I did in this corner I started here just to check it out not that you can see this very well but this is with some glue set down first. This is just the mica powders going on. Clearly, you could wipe it away too easily. I want more color here. So I'm going to put glue down and then brush over the mica pigments. And it's going to be various colors here. And that's what I'm attempting to do. After that, I will probably put a clear resin on here and here. And then here will be uh, filled in with mica pigment colored resin. All right, so that's what I'm doing. Mod Podge. This is exactly the look that I want going on this side. That's what I want. So I'm going to continue.
Uh, all right, I am getting ready to start with my um, resin. I am using a new resin today. It's called Amazing Clear Cast. It's a one-to-one -one by volume. I have not used it before, which makes me a little nervous because each resin has its own ways of doing things. So I have no idea how much time I have with this one. So I am going to be mixing. I mixed up my resin for the three minutes and I am going to be mixing in my pigments and I'm going to start to pour. I do like it to thicken up a little bit so it doesn't spread so much. It's always a nerve wracking part to start. Okay, so I ran out of both space on my card and battery. So what I did, I had to finish up because I had my resin going and so I just had to do it. So I just kind of, I finished filling in, I went around where the robe is going to be and I put black in some certain areas. That's all I did was continued putting my resin in. Adding my clear resin in to cover my mica pigment powders. Adding in a few gold highlights and then I'll be torching to get the bubbles out. And we are done. Thanks again for joining me like usual. I hope you had fun doing this project. Don't forget, subscribe, like, hit that bell for notifications. See you next week, and let's be calm and zen.